Hey there, crazy kids. I am the good old gamer, and we're grooving with more Minecraft Exploring Beta 1.8. Play! Hooray. Um. Let me just make sure I have everything I think I would need. Looks like I do. Right, so. I believe in this recording session we're going to go back into the cave of awesome with some TNT and do some demolition on the stronghold in order to get us some stone bricks some mossy stone bricks and some cracked stone bricks so let's go ahead and do that shall we First, we need gunpowder, which is right here. Almost a full stack, wow. Alrighty. Let's go with 40. This will make... 10 TNT? Whoops. Oh, <laughs> I did that wrong. Alright, so now we need sand in here. We're not going to have nearly enough sand, though, are we? Never mind. Did I put any in here? Yes, I did. Okay, good. Apparently, that's not how you make TNT. So it must be the other way around. There we go. Right, so that'll give us 10 TNT. Fantastic. We'll leave that for later in case we need it for something else. flint and steel to uh, set off the TNT. There we go. So it looks like that one's about done. Alright, so let's do this. Gravel away there. Alright. So off we go. To the Cave of Awesome. This looks so much better right here now. Somebody said I should put some grass around this little oasis that I made. And I think I'll go ahead and do that, but I'll do that in a certain way that uh, I'm going to keep a surprise for now because it's going to be a little bit, little bit unexpected. But uh, we'll do that later because that's going to take a bit of effort. That's going to be its own little project. 
Right now I want the stone bricks and whatnot from my house. So yes, you can set off TNT with fire in case you didn't know. You could also use redstone related stuff like switches, buttons, and that sort of thing, but I just prefer good old fire, flint and steel, quick and easy. That way you're not wasting any materials besides the TNT itself. Now the trick will be finding the stronghold, which shouldn't be too difficult. It was exceptionally more easy to find that than an abandoned mine for some reason, even though it should statistically be the opposite. Strongholds should be far more difficult. And of course, because I have this lit up pretty well, um, we shouldn't be encountering too many enemies. I'm probably the only Minecrafter making Minecraft videos at this point who hasn't found an abandoned mine, but has found a stronghold. I think pretty much everybody finds an abandoned mine first. Not here. Now I can't even find a place I want to go. Of course, because I want to go there. What kind of video would it be for me if I didn't get lost and have no idea what I was doing? I hear something. It's probably a creeper. Ravine looks like Okay then Come on, I just want to find the stronghold. Ooh. That was dumb. I am the worst Minecrafter ever. Ever. I might as well just eat the whole thing, I don't care. Um. Whoa. That was a bit random. It'll be interesting to see how the uh, bricks hold up against TNT. I'm not sure how sturdy <coughs> the stone bricks are.
It may take a bit more than 10 TNT to get the amount of stone bricks I would need for my project. Hello, random squids. Random squids, be random. There we go. Jeez. How many of you guys are there? Are squids supposed to make sound? I guess I've never really noticed. You'd think they'd make sound, but they're supposed to be underwater, so maybe they don't. I know, I don't need the coal, but it's right here and it's easy for the taking, so... Here's zombies! Or Enderman. Hey, there's a stronghold right there. Fantastic. What is this redstone that I didn't get before? Silly. Alright, there's a lot of coal there too, but I got plenty of coal. 
Nothing? Okay. Let's go back up here. Should definitely light this up a bit. I know where I'm going to use my first TNT. Uh oh. That was not the smartest idea. Oh, there's a zombie. Hey, zomb. Ah, <laughs> uh, you were here by your lonesome. Alright. Probably not the smartest move, but... Let's see, is there an easier way to do this? Maybe like that. So that would fall down there. It'd fall down there, right? So... Maybe like that. Ooh, diamond! Nearly missed that. Nice diamond! This might be even more reason to uh, use the TNT. Maybe open up reserve diamonds that I wouldn't have found otherwise. Or else blow them all to smithereens, I guess, is another option. <laughs> oh, that must be bedrock. Well, we're really down deep then, if that's bedrock. Alright, so... Got the TNT there. So I'll go ahead and light it up. And it should drop when it activates. Hopefully. Or not. That works too. I was hoping it'd drop and then activate the TNT down there. Crap. Alright, so we need to make a way out of here. Hey, there's some gold right there. I should really pay more attention. Okay, so... It's right there, right? So let's see. This is going to be tricky.
Did that not get it? Uh, lame sauce. Well, that did. Yay! I probably shouldn't even bothered with this stairwell. Because it's going to be weird getting back up now. This was not a smart idea. But it does get us the stuff we wanted, the uh, bricks. Quick and easy. 